to the 2018 Shelbyville Horse Show. Here we are here on a rather gloomy evening, which is actually kind of unusual for the horse show. We're usually used to kind of this hot, humid, uh, well, 100% humidity type weather, but honestly, that has not stopped the crowd from coming out. As you can see, there's all sorts of people out here tonight to enjoy the Saddlebreds ride. It's not that kind of horse show where they race around the track. It's just the kind where you get to watch the pretty ponies walk around and um, look good. So we're going to interview a couple of people tonight and get you introduced to what we have at the 2018 Shelbyville Horse Show. Be sure to catch the excitement. Here we are once again at the Wednesday Night Horse Show with actually the organist um, who plays here at the Horse Show while the ponies or horses, saddlebreds, uh, do their thing around the track. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Sure. What do you want to know about it? Well, how'd you get involved and how'd you get involved actually with uh, doing this for the Horse Show? Well, I, w I was playing horse shows 20 years before this show started. So I've been doing this a long time, 49 years. This show's 29 years old. And uh, I, when I started, I lived in Indianapolis. Then I moved to Frankfurt. Now I live in Shelbyville. I've been here since the beginning of time for this show. But uh, I got started playing horse shows as an accident. I went um, to the Kentucky State Fair with some friends and uh, we were playing out on the midway and then we came inside to the east wing and um, I sat down and played the organ and somebody said, uh, would you like to play organ for a horse show? And I said, what is that? So, but that's been a long time ago, so. I see, so you were initially roped into the horse show from the start? Yeah, oh yeah, you get hooked pretty quick. As a matter of fact, the first horse show I ever attended was in this ring in 1969, in the fall of 69, so I uh, never thought I would live here. You know. what, what kind of horse show was it? It was a walking horse show. So it wasn't the same type of horses? No, it wasn't, but the guy that uh, played the organ for it was the guy that got me started in doing horse shows. Yeah, yeah. So had you always been musically talented or played up until then? I, I, yeah, I was one of the guys who took piano lessons as a little boy. Started when I was eight. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's great fun. So you've made a great kind of little career with it, haven't you? It's, it's a little uh, hobby for me. Yeah. Apple family out of Tampa, Florida, and the class and the women brought by the Central News of Shelbyville. Out of that lineup, heading to the winner's exposure, we salute the winning drive of 294. Here's Liz Moore, spot on. Terry Kearney of Prospect, Kentucky, and driven to the winner's circle by Lionel Ferreira. All right, here we have Eartha, and this is her second time, actually second year, at the Shelbyville Horse Show. So what brought you back? I had a great time last year. Everybody was friendly. The horses was wonderful. It was nice. Yeah. So um, are you coming back, I guess, more so for the people or the horses? The horses, of course, they are fabulous. I like the way the hair, the hair, the tail, the whole thing, the prance is just fascinating to me. They are. Do you know anything about horses? Not a thing. Just they're beautiful. That's okay, yeah. They're certainly beautiful. Horses, but they're beautiful. Yep. They really are. Well, we're glad to have you back here tonight. Is there anything special you want to say to the camera while you have its attention? Hi, have a good time. <laughs> well, you heard it straight from Eartha. Have a good time at the Shelbyville Horse Show, and don't forget to catch the excitement. Bye, everybody. Have a good time. <laughs> with Mary Dale Lisby, who is a regular at the Shelbyville Horse Show. How long have you been coming to the Horse Show? Well, I have been told that this is the 28th year, and I have been here every year. Wow, that's, wow. that is. That old. <laughs> now, I wouldn't say it makes you old. I'm not far behind that, oh, but um, no. I've been here almost every year. I've been here every year, and I just told this lady over here, I used to decorate Floral Hall for the dance on Saturday night so I could get a ticket because I didn't have any money. And so we would decorate and they would give us a ticket to come and then we'd have to come back and help clean up. But that was years and years and years ago. So, so what keeps you coming back then? 
think it's probably the social event of the year for Shelby County. It's always fun to come. Um, I enjoyed the breakfast the other morning. I just started going to that for the past three years. And I just like the people. and. I really do enjoy the horses though actually, I really do. I think they're such such magnificent animals and I like them real well. So. so do you typically stay in the tent or do you watch the horses at all? I stay in the tent most of the time but I slip over there and I can see them go around. <laughs> so. And they really are, they're very talented. Um, people spend a lot of time and money actually training all year round for um, this big event, honestly. Yes, they do, they do. And I'm a very appreciative of the amount of people that they bring into Shelby County, but I, I'm sure it helps the revenue and the tourism here. And so, now tonight's kind of slow, but by the time tomorrow night and Friday night and Saturday night gets here, this place will be hopping, so. Oh, definitely so. Well, thank you for talking to us tonight. Well, we appreciate it. <laughs> Now Hi, welcome to the Wednesday night edition of the Shelbyville Horse Show. Here I'm with Glenna Bevan, and Glenna is here. This is actually your first time, you say, at the Shelbyville Horse Show? Yes, first time in Shelbyville, yes. And Shelbyville, actually, just entirely? Just at the Shelbyville Horse Show. Okay, I see. So are you um, familiar with what's going to happen tonight, potentially? Yes, very much. Thank you. Uh, do you watch uh, Saddlebred Horses? Know anything about them? Yes, I do. My daughter actually works for Hoppy, so... Uh, okay. She mucks stalls at his barn. So you get, you're going to get to see a lot of different things tonight. Um, some are big or small. Are you familiar with any of the events? Um, a little bit, yes. Okay, well, my favorite personally, and I hope you get to see this, are the Roadster Ponies. And they're the ones that go around in the cute little jockey outfit. So hopefully you'll get to see them and cheer them on. Yes, I will. So are you participating at all in the event tonight? Actually, Hoppy asked me to hand out a few awards tonight, so yes. Okay, well that'll be pretty exciting. I know I used to hand out some awards when I was younger, and it always made me feel special. Yeah. Yes, it does. It's Thank a you. fun way to get involved in the horse show, too. It is fun, yes. Thank you here for joining us at Wednesday night edition of the Shelbyville Horse Show. And I see you all are here on a mission. What are you all doing tonight? Um, we're selling pamphlets for the schedule to raise money for volleyball. Awesome. So you all, I know, told me you're all seniors, and today was your first day of school. So how does that feel? Um, it's exciting, but it's also scary. I have my future, and I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, So, but it's fine. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, really, there's several times in life that you probably don't know what you're doing, and it's totally okay to just restart from there on out. But anyway, so you all, I guess, all play the same sport, which is? Volleyball. Yeah. Well, so the first day of school, how was it for you all? Did you have a practice or anything like that? No. We we didn't have have yeah, we didn't have practice today because we're here selling pamphlets to raise money for our team. So. Gotcha. So was that a good or a bad thing? Were you excited, not excited to get out of practice? Pretty excited. Excited, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Shouldn't be excited, but I definitely am excited. <laughs> Here we are talking to two regulars, right, of the Shelbyville Horse Show. So tell us a little bit about what keeps you uh, coming back to the horse show. Oh, the animals. Just seeing these incredibly gorgeous animals. We're horse people. We, we've got a couple of horses. We have thoroughbreds. We have quarter horses. We love the saddlebreds. And this is Shelby County, capital of the saddlebred. What can I say? It sure is. So um, you all actually are familiar with the events. You're not just coming for the socialization, which is what a lot of people come for. That's nice too, though. Yeah. Of course, it's a nice perk to bringing Shelby County together, the community all coming together as one. Um, but what are some of your favorite events in the horse show that we'll see tonight? Mm. Anything three or five gated. I, I love anything three or five gated. Um, the harness and the, you know, I'm, I'm more into this, what we have going on right now. These are the ones I love. These guys are incredibly powerful creatures and uh, they're just, they're athletes. They really are. And they train so hard. I know that. Oh, yeah. That's what people don't understand how much work not only to the horse but to the rider, the understanding of that rider being able to feel its horse and know what that horse is going to do and that horse knowing what that rider is going to ask for. That's definitely true. They certainly have to be in sync. There's kind of a science and an art to it, would you say? I absolutely agree, yeah. Definitely. 
There's definitely an athleticism to it, I would agree. With both, you're right, the horse and the rider. As county judge, there's nothing greater than to have people come and see your county. We've got people that have come out, seen the horse farms here, and said, you know what, I want to live in that county. And it's, it's great economic impact. Our restaurants gain from it, our hotels gain from it, our businesses. So it's wonderful to have this event in Shelby County, and it's a true event for the county. Hi, we are here with Taylor tonight, and she is a native of Shelby County, and she goes to Shelby County High School. We're just going to see what she's up to tonight at Wednesday Night at the Horse Show. So what brought you here? Uh, my mom, her bank sponsors tonight, so I came for that. We come every year, and sometimes I present awards, and sometimes I don't. So yeah, it's really fun. Awesome. Do you get to present any awards tonight or anything? Yes, I am actually presenting an award tonight. So. Which uh, which award are you presenting? Um, I think it's for class six. Uh, it's for the ponies where like they're riding the carts behind them. Are you talking about the roadsters? Uh, yes. Awesome. Those are my favorite event. They go pretty fast. That's probably the only one where they are they kind of like have the racing aspect. Right. Right. Yeah. More so than just the show. So how long have you been coming? Uh, for like as long as I can remember. It's crazy because like my grandma helped set up this for like a while, and so yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah, so what keeps you coming back then? Uh, I don't know. I kind of like watching the horses and just like seeing all my friends here and hanging out with them. And that's really fun too. Okay, so you're definitely one of the ones who comes to watch the horses, not just a social event? Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> all right, well, thanks for talking to us tonight. We really appreciate it. We look back over the past couple of years in 2016 and in 2017, it was the same three-headed park runway. Cable Journal of All right, we're here with Michael tonight at the Shelbyville Horse Show. And Michael, I want to ask you, tell me about your shirt and like the style at the Shelbyville Horse Show. Well, you know, I wore this shirt because it, it kind of goes with the Shelbyville Horse Show theme. You know, it's brightly colored. It stands out just like everyone else, brightly colored. Um, and it's a beautiful night to wear a great shirt like this. So that's, that's the reason why I chose to wear this shirt. <laughs> Definitely. So the Shelbyville Horse Show, you kind of see a lots of different, um, not only styles, but personalities. Is that right? Yes. Yes. You, you actually do. Um, I mean, people come from all over for this horse show, and it's a big thing in the community. And it, it just gives Shelby County a time to uh, shine and show what they're all about. And uh, all the community just comes together and, uh, you know, reunites as a community and a family. So. So do you come and kind of socialize with the rest of the people at, in Shelby County or do you watch the horses? What do you like to come for? Um, I come for the socialization. Um, I know a lot of people in Shelby County. I work in Shelby County. I have students in Shelby County. Um, so um, it's just like a big family reunion. Everyone knows everybody. So I love it. Okay, not a Forget country right pleasure, the Young Riders.